the top 16. As is starting, both of them starting on PS2. Quite an interesting start. I know both these players are out of state. So, of course, getting this... Uh, a lot of people in Ohio, outside of Cincinnati, I might add, like starting on small battlefield. PS2 is quite the interesting pick since I know Mario would much rather be there, as would Inkling. Both of them do a much better time with their platform yeah, extensions. Th and I do believe that <clears throat> aren't the Blast Zones slightly closer on Small Battlefield than PS2? Yeah, yeah. This being PS2 a larger is, stage. PS2 is a very large stage. Yeah, keeping this very even so far. I mean, both these characters love to scrap with each other. I have played this matchup a, a, a ton seen it. with Dubos. I've seen it happen before on uh, on top levels. Fritos of and Dubos yeah, again. They, they just love boxing with each other. I mean, they have some of the best up close frame data in the game, uh, and it's going to be definitely it's, it's going to be a scrap off until the very end. Not a whole lot of combos we're seeing from either of these characters. A lot of stray one and two hits. Either both of them are just too fall too small and fall too fast to get anything consistent on. We might get a couple extensions, one or two hit combos, maybe to close out a stock, but yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff where they just kind of throw moves at each other. Mario's going to be looking for an up smash rather than uh, anything else. Yeah, doesn't quite get that ledge from, but does get the frame trap up smash right off the ledge. Catching Dark, that air dodge. taking this first stock. Now, when it comes to PGR players, extending leads is a strong suit. It is so hard to hit and kill these types of players. And already, Dark Wizzy firing off with a 60% combo. Gets interrupted, though. Okay, do you want me to hop off right now? Okay, sounds good. All right, I guess Hyper's out of here. I would have preferred he finish the game, but hey, whatever. Thank you very much to Hyper. He was uh, around for the last bit of pool number B. And for the first bit of top 64. So Wizzy just extending his lid here. All we're doing is seeing the scrapping from both of these players, both of these characters, trying to get just these stray hits on each other and trying to secure a kill, while Inkling has a much harder time of that than Mario does. Nah, definitely. You know, you want to look at these characters. Once you're at like the 160, 120%, you know, that whole neutral thing kind of goes out the window. You're really just trying to throw back air out there. I'll smash out a shield. Whatever you can do to kind of get the kill like you see with Dark Wizzy That's on the up smash. twice now with Dark Wizzy that we've been able to uh, see him catch a roll read with that up smash. Covers a lot of oh, covers a lot of area. I don't know. I think he was trying to get a, like a wall jump underneath the stage. Didn't get it. It was like, oh, I got to up B. I'm telling Didn't you, that, make it. That little pineapple underneath PS2. That's got to be the like dangerous, the most dangerous spot in all of Smash Bros. Honestly, whether you're hitting the top with your head, missing your wall jumps, man. PS2 was a menace. I'm not getting yeah, being forced to tech down there. Absolute terrible time for any character. PS2 quite a whack place to be off stage. Nah, definitely. But speaking of being off stage, Dark Wizzy making his way back in from the ledge with a bang. I like it, a little jab lock into the F smash. Jab lock is not something we get to see a whole lot off of ledge. Dark Wizzy just like kind of never differentiates between him being in disadvantage and his and him being in advantage. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't take the time to switch between the two. All he does is try to be at his best at all times, and it's been working out incredibly well no. as he keeps this damage and advantage. Onto Joseph Joestar at all times. Oh, definitely tickling the top of the blast zone. Di going yeah. out this time. I'm yeah, so that, sorry. Here he was facing away. He's like, mm, gotta wait for something. Not Shields it. Bop. Honestly, you know, you kind of touch the back of Mario's shield, and you already know the up smash is coming. Like, like you've accepted your fate. Like, you know, the whole kill screen, all the slow mo stuff. You know, it's all, uh, it's all bells and whistles. You, you know what's gonna happen. Joseph, unfortunately, yes, did make the choice to hit the back of that shield. <laughs> Absolutely. But you know what, like you were saying, a lot of that does come from like Inkling. The stray hits really aren't that good in terms of like really sealing out these stocks inside and out. So, you know, you have to be able to pick those committal like side Bs. You know, you need to be a little bit more committal like your jump call outs in. But you have to be committal against Mario, doesn't really end Not out all great. that well. Yeah, committing against Mario, never a good place to be, especially when a lot of his options, especially his best ones, very non committal in themselves. Mm -hmm. When he's looking for these stray up smashes, these back airs, or hell, even a grab to try and get you, a lot of them are pretty safe on whiff almost at all times. Going back to PS2 is an interesting decision. you have any idea why an Inkling would prefer to go here than say anything else? You know, um, probably, yeah, bare minimum. Triplats are absolute no-no. You know what? Death taxes of Mario on Triplats are never a good idea. Oh, yeah. And then uh, maybe just, you know, you want to have the platform for some sort of, like, you know, if you get a cheeky up throw up air off the platform at, like, an earlier percentage, you kind of get that advantage over a flatter stage, like FD, maybe even Town City. 
Speaking of which, Ooh, oh, all right. Rizzy, just a little bit off on that uh, forward air. That was perfect bait from Joseph as well. He DI'd in the first couple of hits of up air and then DI'd out that last one to try and bait Wizzy into that fair and make it whiff. Can you mix up DI? What do you mean mix up DI? Aren't you supposed to just hold one direction the entire time and pretend like one of the best Mars in the world? Unfortunately, yes. We are looking at winner's side of top 64 here at oh. SOS 7. We're going to be seeing some pretty whack things that you guys are not going to be thinking about a whole lot. These, if you're checking into this out, if you're in chat right now, these are going to be some of the best VODs of these characters you're going to see in your life. No, nah, definitely. This is not your Elite Smash at 2 a.m. This is going to be cream of the crop, top of the line optimal play almost all the time. You might see a couple whack options just because. Because just as a mix-up. Yeah, yeah just, just, just give him on his toes. Something slight. Something that's super interesting. Uh, we have a couple inklings here in Cincinnati, so we get some decent amount of watching from them, especially against the best Mario in the region, Fritos. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ink come out from Joseph Joestar. Uh, normally, we get to see a lot of opportunities of them using splatter shot. And Wizzy's movement has been just too good, too uh, unpredictable for uh, Joseph Joestar to want to try and commit to something uh, like that splatter shot. He has not been getting any of this ink on Mario that he wants, and because of that, no. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You, see, you see the little pause in our hearts? We're like, no, not this. Not the footstool. And because of that, uh, the not seeing a whole lot of ink. Ooh. Yeah, we're just Inkling just doesn't get those straight hits, all that damage that she would want. She's just dealing at a weaker form of herself. Yeah, absolutely. Able to get the uh, up air kill there. But like you were saying, you know, without that ink, you really don't do all that much damage, and it's already difficult to kill. So now you're just playing, let me just win neutral 17 times and then have it all get lost on, you know, oh, Wizzy grabbed me up. Oh, yeah. Wizzy hit me with like, the me. Oh, no. Let's go, guys. All right, able to air dodge. Uh, I mean, uh, Ugh, that's a, no. another roll read. Book was open. Wizzy has been in the library. He saw the book a couple days ago. Remember that part of the <laughs> Checked chat? Checked it out. Know? Regardless, at 0% once again, uh -oh, up throws. Here we go. Put your controller down. Oh, maybe not. Jinxed nope. it. Able to get out of that. <laughs> but yeah, that rapid jab, that's the first time we've seen it all set. Just too much of a commitment, even though that is really one of Inkling's better advantage tools. Mm -hmm. even when she's able to get up on your shield, uh, even though it's not, not very safe on shield, it's just not worth it when you're dealing with Mario. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking about dealing with Mario, I feel like Joe Star has kind of just been at the ledge almost this entire game. Did Wizzy just walk all the yeah. way across? Oh, God, you know what? Let me let Chappie on this side. <laughs> he actually. literally just walked himself over to the to the ledge. It was like, yeah, I'm over here now. Yeah. And I mean, just like, look, like, even though he's still getting hit, he looks. Ooh, so nice cool, air dodge. But, uh, I mean, nice air dodge read. How, do you, how is he making this back? Ooh, spacing on the down, the, uh, down air there. Oh, yeah. good tech. Quality tech zone. Tech Let's go back beautiful. to stage, please. Gets an extra jump thanks to that side B, and that'll be giving him all he needs. Now off stage again. Loses that extra jump. Yep. But he's still taking it under no. the stage. It's so Joe's bad. not dying. It's the heart of a champion. Gets another extra jump. All right, and we're making it back to ledge. Just Let's a neutral get up. Honestly, you know, even if he doesn't win this set, the fact that he's made it back to get himself into advantage state once more is worth the entire world of medals. Welcome to top 64 of SOS 7. Mm -hmm. that, you don't see that kind of consistency all every day. You, I don't even see that level of consistency in, like, grand top finals of, of locals. Yeah, right? Yeah. This is, like, above and beyond, but speaking of above and beyond, okay, you're going yeah. to top of the blast <laughs> zone, and that's going to be a 2-0. That stray up air, just way easier for Mario to hit than a stray up air from Inkling. And you're just seeing in this matchup, they're both trying to mash buttons at each other. They're both trying to box and scrap. Oh, yeah. And Mario's just got those faster moves, better frame data, better kill options without the ink that Inkling can't commit to. Definitely. I, honestly, someone someone really looked at Mario's frame data before they sent him out. I was like, you know, this is fine. Like, back air, well, my minus three.